Hello! Today let's have a look at this Fluke A90 current shunt. I picked it up on eBay for about $45 delivered, so I couldn't resist. I think this can be very handy in a lab if you are interested in all sorts of precision measurements. And it can be used not only as a current shunt, but also as a set of precision resistors. And the resistors there have conveniently round values. We have 1K resistor on this range, 100 ohm, 10 ohm, 1 ohm, 0.1 ohm and 0 0.01 ohm. And they are made by Fluke, so they are designed to be quite stable in terms of aging and temperature drift. And they are packaged into this case with quality binding posts, with four-wire connection or so-called Kelvin connection. So, might be very handy as a reference, uh, not a resistance standard grade reference, of course, not a calibration lab grade equipment, but for hobby level metrology should be good enough. This unit is in a pretty good shape. There are some scratches on the front panel, but nothing major. It's a bit dirty. Look at the dirty binding posts and uh, these buttons. So this thing will need some cleaning. And the contacts in these switches will also perhaps need some cleaning. And I hope resistors inside are not damaged by overloading or something like that. So let's see. The feet are intact. There is nothing on the back. So let's take the cover off and have a look. Here we are. Not much going on here. A lot of unused room. I wonder why. Perhaps this was a standard half rack size case or something like that. Let's have a closer look. There we have binding posts and the range switches and here we have our precision resistors. They are marked on the board. This is 1K, 100 ohm, 10 ohm, 1 ohm, 0.1 ohm and 0 0.01 ohm. And these four are certainly original resistors with some marking on them. But uh, I'm not so sure about these guys. This one has some uh, big number, handwritten. Is this a serial number or what? And nothing of the sort on this one. I wonder if they are original resistors. And this is the bottom, just for completeness. There is nothing interesting on this side. I couldn't see anything which would uh, look like a date so far. I'm pretty sure this thing is quite old, from 70s or something like that. And by the way, notice that these uh, two higher value resistors have two pins, but all lower value resistors have a four pin connection. Let's measure this thing. I connected my Hewlett Packard 6.5 digit multimeter in 4 wire resistance mode. I'm passing current through these terminals and sensing voltage here, just like intended for this instrument. And this is 1K resistor. Let's see. One here would be 1% higher. This is 0.1%. So we are reading about 0.03% higher. And this is wonderful. Let's move on. This is 100 ohm resistor. About the same. 0.028% higher. And let's see if I wiggle the switch. Look. Yeah, the contacts need cleaning. 
Let's see if measurements are repeatable. Yeah, I think they are repeatable, but I would clean the contacts anyway. Let's move on. This is 10 ohm resistor. Also very, very close, but we are starting to lose resolution. This Hewlett Packard meter is not very good at very low ohms. I believe the lowest range is 100 ohm range. Let's go lower. So this is 1 ohm. Very close again. I'm happy with this. This is 0.1 ohm. Also very, very close. And this is the last one. And now we need to move these terminals here. I'm not sure why they are separate. There must be a good reason. And look at that. Around 10 milliohms. Excellent. Let's try my LCR meter on this 10 milliohm resistor. Again, I'm using 4-wire Kelvin connection. And this meter has 0.4 ohm range, but only 2% accuracy on it. So this is an improvement, but not a big one. And I don't have any better way of measuring down to milliohms. And while we are at this, here is 0.1 ohm resistor, according to my LCR meter. I found the service manual. Let's have a brief look. Here are the basic specifications for DC measurements. 0.1% except 10 amp range and 0.2% on the 10 amp range. Then they give specs uh, with combination with particular meters they recommend. So this is another meter and one more and so on. Then a theory of operation, formulas how to combine specs with voltmeter specs, very comprehensive manual. And here at the end, here I found resistor specs. 10 milliohm 0.2%, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.03, and 0 0.04 for one kilo ohm resistor. And we measured about 0 0.03 for 1k and about 0 0.028 for 100 ohm resistor. So this unit seems to be in spec and it is probably more than 40 years old. For cleaning contacts in the switches I would suggest something like this. Contact cleaner with polyphenyl ether or PPE. This is a very good stuff just for this purpose. The contact cleaner evaporates quite quickly uh, without residue, but this PPE thing stays there on the surface of the metal. It fills uh, micro imperfections on the surface, it lubricates, uh, prevents corrosion. It does not go anywhere, it does not degrade, it can withstand high temperatures, very good stuff. And the way to clean the contacts is to spray a tiny bit right into the switch, or into that hole on the back of the switch, and then operate that switch a few times before the contact cleaner evaporates. I will do it off camera. The cleaning is done, and now let's see if I wiggle this switch. We have stable reading, and this one I showed before. You remember when I was wiggling this switch, the reading went all over the shop. Now it is stable, nothing changes at all. Excellent. 
Now it's time to clean this thing on the outside. Lately I prefer this uh, 3M equipment cleaner. It works very well. You just shake the thing and spray on uh, something like a cotton cleaning pad or a paper towel and off you go. Look at this. The thing is like new. I hope you enjoyed the look at this uh, piece of vintage metrology gear by John Fluke and Company. Don't forget to give thumbs up, subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Bye.